y'all and welcome to today's video. I am over the moon excited. My friend Angie, my bestie, has another collaboration with Odin's Eye. Hella is back for Halloween y'all. We are going to look at the full collection. I'm gonna show you swatches. I'm gonna do looks for y'all. I love Odin's Eye. I love Angie. We are gonna have a good time with makeup. It's gonna be a fun video. I'm super duper excited. Let's jump into it. Okay, y'all, like I said, my bestie Angie has brought back Hella with Odin's Eye for Halloween. I am so happy for her. She has been working on this for so long and I wanna show the collection to y'all. Look at this gorgeous box. I am going to pop up the launch details. I am going to have it in the description box. Everything you wanna know about this launch, I'm gonna have in the description box of this video. I'm so excited for Angie. I'm gonna link her reveal video in the description box. But first of all, look at this box. Look at Hella on this box. Absolutely gorgeous. And then opening the box up, whoops. We've got fun stuff inside. I wanna show you everything in this collection. Ah, I'm so happy the day's finally here. I'm so happy for Angie. So let me just say, Angie, like best friend status with me. So, so you know, <laughs> always like to let you know if I have like a personal relationship when I'm talking about products because like that's my friend, you know, and y'all should know that. But I love Odin's Eye. I've been loving the brand for years and I'm excited to show you looks because these products are amazing. Let, let, let's talk about the palettes first. And yes, I said palettes because there are two palettes. Ah, this is the little ghost palette here and then we have trick or treat palette here. So I do wanna show you everything and I wanna show you swatches. So let's start with little ghost. So for Little Ghost, we do have Hella on the cover with this Halloween theme. I wanna show you close up and swatches. We do have a nice mirror in this palette and we have blues, purples, oranges, some pinks. This color story is so incredibly beautiful. I mean, Angie does amazing eye looks. She knows makeup, so I expect amazing things. And this palette is amazing. J listen, spoiler alert, this palette is amazing. So we have this super fun, colorful theme. We have some pastels in here. We have lots of different formulas. I love when a palette goes from light to dark. I love when there are lots of different like formulas in a palette. So we've got that here. We've got beautiful embossings on the pan. So this is Little Ghost. We're definitely gonna do a look with this one, of course. But let's now talk about trick or treat. Okay, so here is the gorgeous Hella Halloween theming, different colorway in our trick or treat palette. Again, we have that beautiful mirror and this really fun like orangey green red with some neutrals thrown in color story. So let me show you a close up and watches of this one too. We have some of those beautiful sparkly shades that Odin's Eye does so, so well. We have mattes, we have just different formulas in here that I really enjoy. Some really special shades. Of course, we are gonna do a look with this one as well. Both of these palettes, I actually got to like swatch and play with. I think it was back in March when we were in Houston. And then again, I uh, wore these shadows when we were in Charleston. Angie had them and I got to play. So I've, I, I, I've been using these, <laughs> not these particular palettes, but her palettes in general for a while. I am so sorry. My phone is not on silent, rude of me. I am just over the moon happy with these palettes. So you've seen the swatches, you've seen close-ups of the palettes. We are gonna do a look with each of these and then I'm gonna do a look combining both of these. So 
maybe you're interested in picking up one or the other, I'll have a tutorial. Maybe you want to pick up both, I'll have a tutorial. You can combine them. But I will say, even if you're not interested in this collection, go watch Andy's video, leave her a heart, tell her congratulations. It honestly means a lot. I am also very excited because we have new lip products from Odin's. Oh, we actually have five. Five lip products. So we have a matte liquid lipstick. It's very moussey, very comfortable. I'm going to be wearing all of these as the video goes on. So you'll definitely see these on the lips. We have lip glosses, some that are more pigmented and shiny, one that is more sparkly. Let me actually actually show you swatches of those on my arm. Again, I will be wearing them in the looks so you can see how they look on my lips, things like that. But swatches are always fun. So I wanted to show you those swatched out as well. And they come in beautiful boxes. So I'm not somebody that normally keeps like the boxes things come in, but these are so beautiful. Like we have Hella there, just I'm keeping the boxes. And I also wanted to show you just for the launch and like the first however many orders, I believe, I'm not sure the number, but look at these cute little taggy things. Aren't these so cute and like Halloween themed? And then a beautiful this is not like a scarf i don't i don't know the name for this but it's like this gorgeous like i use this type of thing for like head wraps you know like tie in your hair and we can definitely definitely do that so i can show you how this looks on but we have the beautiful hella printed on that so i have been talking i have been showing you swatches because listen we got two palettes we got five lip products it's a lot I cannot wait to show you my looks. I cannot wait to tell you my thoughts. Again, it's amazing. <laughs> but we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it again at the end. I'm, I'm ready. Let, let's, do, let's do looks. I'm going to show you a look with each of the palettes. I'm going to show you a look combining the palettes. And hopefully you enjoy. Angie, I love you. Congratulations. Let's jump into the looks. All right, y'all, I am very excited to create. I'm gonna be using the Little Ghost palette. I'm going to put down my blank canvas primer. And I think the shade that we'll start with today will be this like gray blue shade right here. Definitely blue, but a little like gray leaning. We're going to start with this one. It's called Haunted. Okay, so I've got that shade on a Blend Bunny brush and I'm going to press it all right here in my socket. I'm not gonna take it out to the outer corner. I'm just gonna keep it right in here. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, definitely like a stormy blue gray. So I'm just kind of pressing it on first and then I'm gonna blend. That is such a pretty color. Okay, I'm going to take my Singe Beauty brush and we are going to go in with this beautiful purple right here. This is called Little Ghost and it has bats embossed on the pan. I love that. I think that's so cute. So I'm going to pick that up and put it in this outer corner. So we're going to have this nice fade from that pretty blue color out into this more vibrant purple. So I'm taking it right on my lid and then kind of up and out like this. And then I'll slowly just kind of blend it. Okay, now that I have those two mattes on, I next want to go in with Haunted House, this really pretty royal blue. And then I'm going to dip into a uh, skeleton, this kind of really pale lavender gray type of shade right here. So this one with the jack lantern embossed in the pan and then this blue on the opposite side of the row. Okay, so I've got that on my BK Beauty brush. And I'm going to kind of press this right on to the lower lash line and then slowly kind of buff and blend this shade on like this. 
So I'm just going to start by like stamping it on at first and then I'm slowly gonna blend back and forth. I can always come and blend it even more. Once I'm done with the look, if I wanna bring the shade lower and make it a little more dramatic, I can definitely do that. But for now, we're just gonna keep it right in here. Okay, I've got another BK Beauty brush. This one's their like tapered blending brush. And I'm taking Skeleton and I'm just going to buff around like this. I really like the way these shades look together, how we have kind of this like two-toned look going on. So I'm just going to take my time, barely touching my skin, but blending out a bit. Okay, I am loving the way these four mattes are looking together. I'm ready to add some shimmer though. So jumping in looking at these shades I think we'll keep it like with this blue shade we'll kind of keep the blue here so this is the shade creepy I think it's going to be so pretty I'm going to put it from the inner inner part of my lid out here just not covering up this matte purple but this sparkly shade looks so beautiful Okay, so I have this on a brush from my Sigma set. I picked up the shadow. Wow, that beautiful blue shadow. And once it was on my brush, I sprayed it with a little bit of setting spray. That is so pretty, wow. Okay, so I'm pressing this on and then I'm blending uh, really really like this shade I think that is gorgeous okay I'm just gonna keep pressing that on the lid you could definitely fit multiple shimmers like with this look if you wanted to but I just really liked the way this looked in the pan and I wanted it all over my lid Okay, for the inner corner, I want to go in with Cobweb. This shade looks so pretty, so I'm going to pick it up on my BK Beauty brush, and I'm going to spray it, and then we're going to put it on the inner corner. All right, I'm going to pop that right there. That is gorgeous, so gorgeous. Okay, this is going to be the finished eye look. So we used four mattes and then two of the shimmer sparkle metallic shades i'm loving the way this is coming together but i do want to put on uh, eyeliner i want to put on a lash i need to pick out a blush and a highlight and i will be back so you can see how it looks once i add mascara and everything and we will pick a lip color together Okay, y'all, I threw on some black eyeliner and I threw on a half lash. This is actually from the brand Pink Honey, and it is their Baby Winks Pixie Lash in Daphne. I thought it would be nice just to do a little half lash that kind of flared out. I am so in love with the eye look. I feel so beautiful. I am excited to wear this out today. It's... It's going to catch the sunlight so beautifully, like these reflex. Mm, I love this look. But I did go in with blush. I'm using my Odin's Eyes Sunlight Love Blusher in Sunset Clouds. I'm wearing my Solmon Moonlight Feel Highlighter in Azura Shine. And I put on a matte liquid lipstick from Angie and Odin's Eye. This is Shadow Creature. I thought this would be really pretty with this eye look, but I wanna add a gloss. You know, I want a little sparkle. So we are gonna put on Glow Gloss, or it's a Glow Gloss in the shade Radioactive. Okay, so my lipstick has had time to set a bit, and that is so pretty sparkle to it a sheen we love oh that's beautiful okay y'all here is our finished look i am so into it but you could probably already tell i'm excited to wear this look the rest of the day i love the blue the purple like how sparkly that blue is the lip color like I'm feeling myself. 
I am feeling myself, but we do have more to talk about. So one last look and we'll jump into the next one. Okay, y'all, I am ready to create an eye look. I do have on Angie's beautiful matte lip color in the shade Swamp Fog. Beautiful, beautiful shade. So I have that on. We might put a gloss on when the look is complete. We'll see how we feel. But we're going to play with the Trick or Treat palette. I'm so excited to jump into this one. I'm going to put down my eyeshadow primer and we are going to play. We're going to create something fall inspired. Of course, the seasons don't tell me what to do to my face. I'll wear summer looks in like Christmas time if I want to, who cares? But it is fun to be inspired by the seasons. And I'm looking at these beautiful, like traditional fall tones. We're gonna create something, I don't know. I just wanna play. So let me throw down my eyeshadow primer. Let me zoom y'all in nice and close and we will create. Okay, I am going to start off with this really beautiful deep shade right here. This is called Vampire Fangs. It has this creepy spider printed on it and it's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna pack this all right here in my socket and I'm gonna do that with an Odin's Eye brush. So let me go into Vampire Fangs. These brushes I have had for a long time. I think these may be launched with the Saga of Freya collection, but they're, they're nice brushes. So I'm going to kind of press the shade right here. You'll see that pigment. We love to see a dark shade have pigment and it's moving, like it's blending for me. It's not just staying stuck in one place. I mean, like I know that Angie knows eyeshadow, so I'm not surprised. So I'm just pressing right in there and then we'll blend out more later right now i'm just really just getting the pigment down and then lightly blending oh that's such such a pretty shade i'm also going to pick this up and put this lightly under the lower lash line not trying to make it super intense but also not super blown out. Just a little bit of this shade right under here. Okay, this shade is so beautiful. I want to deepen up my outer corner though. I love to add depth to the outer corner. Oh, what can I say? We're gonna go in with Goblin. You see how dark that is? Ah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm gonna use a BK Beauty 211 brush. I'm going to Stamp that right there on the lash line in this outer part of my lid, like that. Then I'm going to place some shadow right up here, like that, and kind of slowly fade and blend it out. So that's kind of darkest right here at my lid, and then I fade and blend it into that beautiful shade that we started with. So just taking my time back and forth like this. Don't worry, we're still gonna blend. I know you're like, Heather, 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 blend. But listen, we got it, we got it. We're, we're, we're gonna trust the process and we're gonna deepen up this outer corner like that. Yes, we are. I am feeling this already. I can see it coming together another BK Beauty brush, and we are going to go in with this shade. This shade has been calling to me. It's got two cute little bats embossed on the pan. This is the shade Howl, and we're gonna use this to kind of buff and blend. I, side note, would really love to have some bat houses, but they're not super easy to keep up. Like, they have to be pretty specific and 
they're not super cheap either. If any of you have like bat habitats, you have some tips for me, leave them in the comments because I would love to have some bats near my house to help with, you know, biting insects. <laughs> I would love, love, love that. But everything I've researched into it, I'm just like, uh, I don't know. I would hate to invest the money and, you know, not do it right. So let me know if you have any tips. I know that's a oddly specific request, but <laughs> anyways, I'm taking this pretty shade and just kind of buffing and blending very lightly right in here and down and around. Okay, we are gonna go in with our shimmer now. I am gonna go in with a little bit of my Shimmer Stay primer, just to give me that extra oomph. You know, the little bit of ah, to it, <laughs> just to take it to the next level. You know, like this is the level, but the next level is also the level. So we're gonna go in with this beautiful shade right here. This is called Deadly. And I'm gonna put that on my lid, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit right in here, but I'm not gonna cover up this deep dark matte in the outer corner. Okay, so I put down that shimmer stay and we are gonna pack Deadly all on top. So I'm gonna press the shadow on first and then once it kinda sets down, I'm gonna blend, but I love the way this warm coppery shade is looking with the matte shadows we have down. That is really really pretty and it's working so well with this lip color oh it's almost like they were made for each other okay this is gorgeous I love these shades everything has worked so beautifully and I can't decide what I want to do on the inner corner I feel like I have some really beautiful options but I really kind of want to stick with the matte inner corner and go in with this beautiful shade right here called Wicked but it's not really a matte. It's like a matte with a little bit of shimmer to it. So I'm gonna put it right there. It had a cool jack-o'-lantern embossed in the pan. So I'm just gonna highlight the inner corner and this will be our finished look. I'm gonna see if I need to do any more blending. Yeah, it's basically a matte, but it has a tiny bit of shimmer if you pack it on. And I'm going to throw on liner, a lash, and then I've got to head out the door, but I'll be looking nice in my eye look. Let me, okay, here's the finished look. I'm gonna do liner, a lash. I will be back to show you how it looks. Mm, mm, these shades though, beautiful. All right, y'all, here is our finished look. I feel beautiful in this look. Every single shade worked beautifully, performed beautifully. I mean, look at the lid. I love it. It's giving fall bonfire vibes, you know, and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. The lashes, I don't know what they are. Like, I don't know the name. I just have them on my desk. I'm wearing Melt Rich Brown in my waterline. I went on with a gloss. So before I had on the matte liquid lipstick and now I'm wearing the shine gloss in the shade Spectral on top. I put on my Odin's Eye blush in W102 Peach Gleam and the highlighter in H103 Warm Sunshine. So Here's my look. I love it. I love, love, love this look. I think it's so beautiful. All the shadows are beautiful. I'm excited to keep creating. Oh, I really, really, really like this look. I need to polo Angie now and show her, but we have more to talk about. So here's this look and let's move on. All right, I have y'all zoomed in. We are gonna create a look mixing both of these palettes. So I do have the lip gloss in quicksand on. This is the Shine formula. And I have that over top of my Unearthly Bad Blood and Cursed Lip 
pencils. So that's kind of what we have on to start. I'm also wearing my Moonlight Feel Highlighter in Pink Star and my Orange Sunny Blush. Now, I don't think I said this at the beginning of the video, but you can use code Heather to save at Odin's Eye. That is an affiliate code, but collabs are excluded from discount codes. So if you want to buy anything else on the site, you can use my code, but it will not work to this collaboration. So I usually say that in the beginning, but I was so excited <laughs> that I completely forgot. But again, everything will be in the description box. So I'm going to throw down a primer for my shadows and we're going to start with the trick or treat palette because I really want to play with cauldron, this beautiful deep dark green right down here. Okay. So I'm taking that matte shade cauldron and I am using my blinged brush. I'm going to just press this all in the socket that is such a beautiful green shade listen green is my favorite color i'm always down for a green shadow it makes me so happy okay i'm gonna leave the green here for now i know it's not blended it's okay i'm gonna take this game beauty brush and we're gonna go into cemetery that's right next to the green this really pretty mauve -y tone it has a like skull and crossbones on the pan and i'm going to whoops i'm going to just put this shade on my lower lash line so i'm gonna press it and then kind of blend it back and forth like this because we're going to do like a kind of intense look. I want the lower lash line to be really like blown out and blended. Okay. I know that this is not looking right. It's going to come together because we are going to go over to the little ghost palette and use this deep dark shade right here licorice i want to pack this on my outer corner so i'm gonna press it right out here i love 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 green and purple together so i'm just pressing that right on my lash line to deepen up the lid and then i'm going to bring it up and we're gonna blend like this again don't worry we're going to blend more later. Right now, I'm just getting the shades down and then we'll go in and we'll blend. But I'm going to use this shade too to kind of connect what we have going on up top with what we have going on down below on the lower lash line. Okay, back over to our trick or treat palette and we are going to go in to poison right here. That shade is poison. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. I'm sorry. I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab a brush. Let me grab this one, this blinged brush. And I'm going to pick up poison and I want to add in this bright green shade right along the edges of that dark green to buff and blend. I'm not bringing in a lot of this shade, just a little, 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 little on my brush. And then I'm just going to do these blending motions back and forth, back and forth like this down out here too. Okay. Back over to little ghost. We're going to go in with shimmer on the lid. Actually, I'm going to use these two purpley shades, this one called ominous and this one called zombie. So both of these we're going to do um, ominous first and then we'll do zombie. Okay, so I picked that shadow up on my brush and I did spray my brush with a little bit of setting spray, makeup mist, whatever you want to use. Oh, I love green and purple together. I really do. We're going for like Joker vibes today with this look. Perfect for our Halloween theme. I'm just pressing that on the center of my lid. And once I press it, then I'll blend it to make sure I get in all of my wrinkles and crinkles. 
All right, now I've got the lighter purple and I'm going to press that on the inner part of my lid. That is gorgeous. So we've got this like light purple shimmer and you can see this one has a lot of like sparkle to it. Then we have the mid-tone purple and then it kind of fades out into that dark purple matte. So I am very happy with how the look is coming together so far. Okay, I'm so happy with my purpley green look, but I want to go in just a little bit with Mummy's Curse. This has so much like pretty reflect to it. I really like this shade. So I'm going to pick this up. I'm going to spray my brush. We're going to pop it on the inner corner. All right. I'm just going to look in my mirror. <laughs> go look at y'all. Go look in the mirror and pop this shade right there. Isn't that beautiful? It gives us like a little bit of like shine and brightness right there. So I'm going to throw on liner and a false lash because I want to like just emphasize the like dramatic look we have going on. So here's our finished look though. I'm going to do liner and I'm going to come back. And we will just, you know, chat about how beautiful this collection is. All right, y'all, here is our finished look, mixing both of the palettes. I also put the little scarf thing on, and I love my look. I love green and purple together so much. Angie, congratulations again. I mean, she killed it. She killed it. The lip products are beautiful. The palettes, absolutely beautiful. If I were not friends with Angie, I would still love this collection. It's just so good. Like it is so good. It's so beautiful. You saw the looks. I hope you enjoyed them. The lip products, beautiful. Of course, the sparkly gloss is my personal favorite, but I just feel great in this look. I'm so excited. I love this Halloween theming. I think it's so fun. I love like myths, legends, stories of all kind. So of course the fact that it's like hella based around North mythology and then a crossover to Halloween, like we love, we love that. Thank you all so much for watching. Again, everything will be linked down in the description box. Definitely check it out. Go show Angie some love. I'm gonna enjoy wearing my look for the rest of the day. I hope you have a great day and I will see you very soon in another video. Bye. Thank you.